Are you ready? <laughs> My neighbor's cat got eaten by a coyote last week. Oh, shit. <laughs> and uh, I have no idea if coyotes are Asian. <laughs> That's how we're starting this, so... Yeah. I, was, uh, I was at a party last week, and it was so dead, I said, that's the last time I bring fentanyl. Of. I 
sort of okay. <laughs> Doesn't matter where you go, dude. I think they have one per store that they're unionized or something. <laughs> like I was at a quick trip one time and some guy actually asked me for a change and it fucking pissed me off, dude. Like we don't fucking do that here. <laughs> But when my neighborhood started changing, I started changing too. Like, I started going to the black barber shop. And when I'd be in the barber shop, I was wondering why there'd be that old guy in there with like two wisps of hair. I thought I was heading to a fucking legal in here. But then I realized as I've gotten older, <laughs> most men are just sad because of their hair loss. Uh, the black barber is their therapist. He's the only person in that man's life asking him, how you living? <laughs> Lift your chin up for me. Man, that's crazy. Turn the other cheek. <laughs> <laughs> Makes you look yourself in the mirror afterwards. That's therapy, dude. <laughs> and, uh, I remember I got... Uh, <laughs> When I was a little kid, my, my school was putting in new sidewalks, and I carved my initials into it while it was still wet. And a cop showed up to my parents' house, and uh, they're talking to my mom, and they're like, uh, yeah, you're gonna have to pay for this. She's like, how do you know it's my son? And they're like, we got concrete evidence. <laughs> She's like, well, can we fight it, or are the charges set in stone? Like 
I'm six five, which outside of basketball people are like, oh, you're pretty tall. Basketball is just average. Um, it's also like not unfamiliar for me to be like one, if not the only white guy in a room full of white people. But they always say the same thing in and out of basketball. They're like, oh yeah, you look like a shooter. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> Who dropped their glass over there and fucked up my punchline, dude? <laughs> no, it's okay. But fuck you, but... <laughs> no, but do I think... Do I think that people should be, uh... Can't make it at the men's level, going over to the women's level and just absolutely dominating? No. <laughs> Because we have to remember that the one thing that makes money in sports is gambling. Yeah. Yeah. Because, like, think about it. We should just give them a league of their own. You know what I mean? Um, that's more things to bet on. You know what I mean? Like, imagine betting a three-leg parlay on the Charlotte Hormones. <laughs> the Philadelphia 70 genders. <laughs> the LA Clippers to come through. <laughs> uh, UFC, like UFC, NMA, do. Think about this. Take a dude, make him a female. Take a female, make her a dude. And they fight each other. <laughs> Carla McGregor versus Ronald Rousey. <laughs> I, I bet on that. What the hell out of that? But betting's getting out of control, dude. It's getting out of absolute control. Uh, my friend texts me, and he's like, yo, you're gonna have betting available on the special Olympics. <laughs> Look it up, not right now, but look it up. <laughs> I was like, now I have seen a lot of crazy things that you can bet on. It's by far the most retarded. I get blocked on social media a lot, if you can believe that. <laughs> There's one girl I went to high school with, she's like, oh my god. Like, <laughs> it is 2024 and people are still using straws. It's like, it's 2024 and most people still suck. <laughs> <laughs> Baristas literally make fucking art in your coffee. <laughs> Bartenders just pour beer in a glass and they get all the tips and we don't get shit. <laughs> Damn, sounds like bartending's the move. <laughs> Locks. Shoelaces for Pride Month. She's like, What do you guys think of my Pride Month shoelaces? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, Looks like you can't even walk straight. <laughs> 30 day suspension.
I've uh, seen in uh, Phoenix, <laughs> seen in Phoenix, look it up, seen in Phoenix, you can pay $1,500 a month to be a sperm donor. <laughs> but like, people are always asking you, what do you do for work? Real fucking like nosy. Like, what do you do for work? It's like, I'm in banking. <laughs> What exactly do you do in banking? Ah, mainly liquidate the inventory. <laughs> Company freezes the assets. <laughs> a lot of PP loans. <laughs> it easy, it's hard at first. <laughs> All we're gonna do is bust my balls. <laughs> first day I walk in, it's like, Janet, get a load of this guy. So 
I had a double down, I was like, Ugh. So if you definitely thought I was a Marine. <laughs> Why stop there? <laughs> Bro, I was driving. Uh, I was driving home, smashed, and um, this is like a Marine. And um, I got the shirt. It's fine. <laughs> but like, I pulled up to the Circle K, and like, I got out and I saw my parked job. And I, Circle K is where you pull up when like you want to be suspicious, you know. You're just, like, Car, I was like, man, that's a so okay bar job. Um, and I went in there and like, I'm trying to get some zen. We got anybody who zens in here, dude? Okay, we um, But yeah, uh, I saw like a sale. They said three for six. And I was like, bet. And I kept telling the guy, like, this doesn't say $6. And he's like, oh, can you put your reward number in? I was like, yeah. And you know, sir, okay, that line doesn't move. <laughs> so there's like six, seven people behind me at this point. Like I'm just going back and forth. I'm like, look, bro, if you can't, if you can't figure this out. Like I'll just take my business elsewhere. And, like, I could feel the tension, but and this little girl's like, why is it taking so long? And she's like, enough. Like, he's been through enough. Just be patient. <laughs> and then I seen the sign that said. Uh, I three save six. I was like, oh, save six. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, I'll get this one. And um, nobody gave me shit. My mom's because of that shirt. <laughs> I thought I'd been pissed. Um, yeah, man. In dating, like we talk about red flags. It's a very popular term. But I feel like we will overlook the red flags if you got the right green flags. <laughs> Yeah. Like, my girlfriend's Latina, and the stereotype on that is a red flag. <laughs> but the Mexican flag also got green in it. <laughs> and I'm just a white part in the middle. Shit, like uh, the definitions of words, right? I'd be like, "Uh, here's a dictionary. Here's a definition." She's like, "Just because it's in the dictionary doesn't mean that that's what it means." <laughs> the fuck are we going off of? <laughs> yeah, there's a certain point where, like, when you get to my age, you like the girls younger than you too dumb. <laughs> And the ones like my age and older, if they're not married, it's one like fuck them. You know, too much baggage. Yeah. And I was like, you know, the only thing that seems to make sense is to date a widow. You no, know, for sure she can't go back to her ex. 